Hey everyone, so uh, thank you. I just want to start off by saying thank you uh, for the amazing support on the last video that I made. Um, I know it's nothing crazy or nothing special. I'm not a professional at this stuff, so um, I just wanted to make a video on you know what I've learned in the Bible so far, and uh, thank you for tuning in to that. It really does mean quite a lot. And if you've learned something too, uh, feel free to leave so, uh, a comment and that way we can continue to discuss um, whatever it may be. But anyways, um, I essentially just wanted to, I guess, cover a little bit more on what I learned in Genesis. Um, I got a little ahead of myself and I mostly spoke of Joseph's story in the last video. And I wanted to uh, highlight some of the other amazing, important stories uh, that happened earlier in Genesis and uh, before we move on to Exodus or any other kind of book in the Bible. So basically, we're going to be diving into some other amazing stories uh, in Genesis. Um, we're going to be looking at what it means to have faith in God's timing and to truly obey his commands. We often hear about having faith and trust, but what does that look like in real life? Uh, so yeah, Genesis has some other great examples for us to learn from. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the story of Adam and Eve. So I'm going to go, I'm going to briefly cover the story of Adam and Eve. Um, God gave them everything they needed in the Garden of Eden. There was only one rule. Don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But when the serpent came along, they doubted God's word and they chose their own path over his. This one act of disobedience changed everything leading to sin entering the world. It's a reminder that when we choose our own way, instead of trusting in God's commands, the consequences can be far-reaching. Obviously, in this story, we see the importance of obedience. It's not just about following rules. It's about trusting that God's way is ultimately the best way, even when we don't fully understand it. And I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of the times we're not going to understand it. But his way truly, truly is the best way. Now we're going to switch gears to a story of faith and obedience. Noah and the Ark. Noah lived in a time when the world was filled with corruption, yet he stood out. Because of his amazing faith in God, God asked Noah to build an ark, a massive boat, even though there was no sign of a flood coming, can you imagine the looks that Noah must have gotten from his neighbors? Noah did not question God. He didn't hesitate. He didn't second guess the plan. He just simply trusted in God's word and got to work, knowing that if God asked it of him, there was a reason. Noah's faith and obedience saved not only his family, but also the future of humanity. It shows us that when we obey God, even when it doesn't make sense to us or to those around us, we position ourselves to be part of his greater plan. A lot of the times, God's going to call us to do something, and we it's not going to make sense to us. We just have to allow the Holy Spirit to guide us in the direction that God wants us to go, and we just simply have to follow you can't hesitate, you can't push back, you just gotta obey and just follow through. So now we're gonna look at the story of uh, Cain and Abel. Uh, these two brothers each brought offerings to God. Um, Abel gave his best gift, the firstborn of his flock. While Cain's offerings didn't have the same level of faith or devotion behind it, God looked favorably on Abel's gift, but not on Cain's. Uh, Cain's reaction to this was anger and jealousy, leading him down a path of sin when he killed his brother Abel. Uh, and I think the story highlights that it's not just about giving something to God. Um, it's about giving him our best with a faithful heart. Uh, God wants our faithfulness, not just a half-hearted gesture, um, it's another lesson in trusting that God sees our intentions 
and desires our genuine devotion. So what can we pick up from these stories? So basically Adam and Eve teach us that the consequence of disobedience and the importance of trusting in God's wisdom. Uh, Noah shows us the faith and obedience, shows us that faith and obedience can lead to incredible blessings, even when others don't understand our choices. And from Cain and Abel, we see that God values the sincerity of our faith over the size of our offering. So I basically just wanted to make a quick uh, video summarizing these themes. I know they're kind of simple, but I think they're pretty great to highlight. Um, we just need to obey God, trust in his timing, and have faith in his plan, even when it doesn't make sense. And trust me, as I've gone through this myself, a lot of the times it just simply does not make sense. I can't seem to grasp it. And we honestly, we're not going to see the whole picture. We can't. That's where faith comes in. So let's take these lessons from Genesis to heart and strive to walk in obedience and trust just like Noah did. And yeah, I just wanted to briefly uh, cover those topics. Um, you know, I, if this video blesses you, then, you know, leave a like or subscribe. It's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to briefly cover these topics. They seemed pretty interesting to me. And I kind of wanted to cover a little bit more of Genesis. Um, I'm currently starting to read Exodus. I've been pretty busy lately, so I haven't been able to. Um, but if you guys want me to cover any other portion of the Bible, uh, let me know. I'm obviously willing to, I guess, learn more about it and get more into it. Because um, this is kind of what this channel is kind of for now. But yes, um, yeah, just want to say before I, I end the video, um, if you're going through any kind of struggle, any kind of hardship, anything of that nature, um, God is right there. God is right there with you. And he has not and will not abandon you. Um, and just trust in his timing. Trust in his timing. Trust in his plan. Put your trust and your faith in him. And I know at times it may be hard and it may seem it may not seem logical, but you just need to you need to put your trust in the Lord and he'll work in your life and he'll be there. He's always there. And um, even when we might not think so. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you in joining me on this journey of getting to uh, learn God's word. And yeah, um, to basically summarize what we've covered in the video, um, God's way is the best way. Um, so let's try to stay obedient to God and his word. And uh, if we do so, many blessings will come. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope each and every single one of you have a beautiful and blessed day wherever you are in the world. God bless.